Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm on my own, broken along, I feel the rain crashing down. I hope you're all having a fabulous, fabulous start to your Sunday. This week, I'm so excited to bring you a bit of a different video, but I'm gonna be taking you through my entire week of workouts. One of my most commonly asked questions is pretty much all around what I do at the gym whenever I go. So I thought it'd be a really fun idea to compile my entire week of workouts into one video so you can kind of see what I'm doing at the moment. Obviously last week, it was my birthday, I was on a holiday. So we had a bit of a chill week last week. So this week we're really getting back on our grind. And we're also in a little bit of like, middle section with my workout plan at the moment to be honest i'm kind of like 90 percent of the way through programming myself a brand new workout plan which is super super exciting but i'm also like half doing my old workout plans so we're in a little bit of like a middle ground so if you are interested in the future of seeing another week of workouts i'll create that once i'm 110 percent on my kind of like new plan which i'm so excited for like as i said i've already started programming it and she looks fire. But yeah, I'm actually really excited for you guys to see like how I train. Cause I feel like it's something I haven't really posted about before. And when I say I push myself to my absolute limits whenever I train. And hopefully in this video, you'll be able to see that because I end up absolutely dead after every single training session as she should. But I hope you do enjoy this video. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below so you can see all of my content that's gonna be coming very, very soon. My number one goal for 2024 is to be so consistent with YouTube. So you're gonna be seeing a lot more of my beautiful little face. Without further ado, let's get into our week's worth of workouts. And I really hope you enjoy this video because I really enjoyed creating it. <laughs> Monday. So we've just come to the gym. We're in for a very exciting pool session. We don't actually normally train at pool on a Monday, but we had a little bit of a funny week last week being on holiday. So we're getting back into the routine with it. And we are starting with pool because I, I didn't do a pool session last week. So I feel like I definitely need a gym session today. My mental space, I feel so stressed and anxious. So I feel like we need to lift a couple of weights and then we'll feel so much better. But we also have cheer this evening. So Mondays are always like my most packed out day. But I do quite like starting my week on like quite a packed day get everything done on monday and i feel like i then start the week on a very good note but let's go and train paul <laughs> we've also got some friends with us today hi we are the friends hi my name is friend one i'm <laughs> my best friend two we've literally Thank been here for half now. an hour and we haven't even gone to the gym yet this literally happens every single time we just end up sitting in the changing room for absolutely ages but let's go and get a nice little back pump i'm so excited legs halfway through a back session make that make sense who the hell option was to train legs but that means we are now doing the second half of the full session alone because i'm not i'm not switching up to do legs and stuff that's not a bit of me so i'm actually really enjoying the session though it's making me feel really really strong like i haven't done a pool session for like what maybe like two weeks and it feels so good i'm feeling so strong i'm really enjoying myself but yeah those losers have all left me so we're doing what we do best and we're training along so Our first 
last session of the week done. The port is ticked off. We're now gonna go and get a little Joe and the Juice. If you don't go Joe and Juice after being in the gym, then what are you doing? That was actually a really hard session, I'm not gonna lie. Like, she was challenging. I think it's because I've not been the most consistent person with the gym, with it being like my birthday, being on holiday. But yeah, let's go and get a Joe and the Juice. So we're just in Joe and the Juice. I'm really hoping you can sit hear me because there's quite a lot of loud audio in here. So hopefully we'll be able to hear everything. But They've got a new item on the menu and it's actually very sharing for once, which is very exciting. So, I've got to try. What's it even called? Egg avocado. It's called the egg avocado. So, it's got egg and avocado in like a similar bread, but it's not the same bread. I'm not gonna lie, I did also get the avocado one because obviously, as I said, I've got cheer this evening. So, we're out and about. So, not too sure what I'm next to eat. But I thought I'd play it safe as well because I didn't want to get this and then be really disappointed and then not have this. So, I'm so excited. We're gonna give her a little go. <laughs> I would give it a seven. It needs more salt and pepper. The egg's not giving anything. It needs salt. It is just giving like egg mayo, which like, it's good. Nice to have something else to switch it up from the avocado one. Oh, I don't want eggs. Oh, where would you? Oh! Hey, drink your ginger shot, girls. Happy Tuesday! We are now going to the gym to do a cheeky little lower body session. I haven't actually decided if I'm going to make it like a posterior session or like an anterior session or a full lower body. I'm kind of like in the middle of like rebuilding my plan in my head. So I'm not really too sure which we're going to do. So we're going to play it by ear and see how we go. I did go to cheer yesterday, but I did not get any footage at all because I left my camera in the car. Make that make sense. Also could have been stolen, so it wasn't the best move for me, but it was a very slow session. All the other teams other than our team have a competition this weekend, so that was a priority. My team wasn't a priority yesterday, which was actually quite nice to not have like an insanely hard session for once. But yes, I'm feeling it today. I did actually have a really good sleep last night. I think I had like seven hours sleep, which for me, whew, that's a lot of sleep. I never get that much sleep. But yes, I'm actually feeling quite good today and ready to train. I have a really, really busy work morning, which has been so productive. But my train literally leaves in five minutes. So I need to stop procrastinating and go and get this train because otherwise I'm going to be late and my friends are all going to be annoyed with me. So I'll see you at the gym. So we're at the gym and we are actually the first one here. Everybody else is running. So freaking late. So we are just going to sit here and do some admin until everybody comes. But I think I've decided we're just going to do a full lower body session today and then do a push and then a full upper. Because the other option was doing lower body twice a week and I just don't enjoy lower body like that so I feel like doing it once a week get it done in one day is the way to go and it just means that I have one session that I'm not the biggest fan of rather than two so I can have three out of four sessions I'm like obsessed with which I think is a better plan so at least we're doing some kind of lower body do you know what I mean for pretty much a whole year I didn't do any so anything is a bonus <laughs> left i literally never get left in the gym we always do all of our workouts together but i've been left again the other two are both doing like a quad workout and obviously i was doing like a full lower workout so i had to do hamstrings instead of symmetric quads so that is what i was doing that's why i was on my own for a little bit now everyone is going to get some food but i've meal prepped at home and i'm being good because the amount of times that i'm meal prep at home then i just literally won't eat it it's actually really bad so I'm telling myself we're going to eat the milk pot at home. We do not need to go and have another drone the juice. Like, I get it all the time. We can have that another time. So the milk pot at home is going to be eaten. And now we're going to do some cardio. Because I told myself I was going to do it yesterday. So I'm going to double it up today. And I'm going to try and read whilst we're doing cardio. Because I've not been good with reading that book. And I really actually want to read it and see what happens. So I'm going to try and see if my coordination allows me to do it on the treble. So best of luck. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm dying. I'm so hot. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It is rest day. 
which actually really excites me because I feel so, so tired today. I think doing like the doubled up cardio with the weightlifting yesterday has actually just really knackered me. But yeah, I thought I'd take you along for a couple of the fun things I'm doing today's rest day because it's actually quite a little packed out one. This camera keeps on falling down. I really need to find my tripod. It's somewhere in the car, but my car's an absolute mess right now. But we are currently sat outside my hairdresser's house. You may be thinking, Ella, what are you doing to your hair? It doesn't look like it needs a hair dye. I thought the exact same thing this morning. Honestly, so the only reason I really go to the hairdresser is for like trims and to like dye my hair. Basically, my hair has literally got no bleach in it. So it's something called tint, I think. I don't really know that well, but it's like it doesn't have bleach in it. So we never bleach it, so it never gets more damaged. But it does mean that I have to like have a lot more upkeep. Like I have to come to the hairdresser like every six weeks. But this is actually four weeks after I last got it done. So it really it doesn't need doing. But the issue is my hairdresser is on holiday when it was six weeks. And then she's obviously booked out around it. Because I'm not organized enough. I don't book that much in advance. Because obviously where I'm self-employed, I can kind of go whenever. Um, so it's a little bit easier to fit it in. But yeah, my hairdresser is going to be on holiday. So I was like, right, I'd rather get it done earlier than have like really bad roots. And then the next time I get it done, it's also in four weeks. Because then I'm going to be on holiday when it's going to be the six weeks so i was like right we're just gonna have to just get my head on more regularly for the moment but it literally does not need doing like yesterday i was sat up quite late reading my book and i was like oh let me just check my calendar for tomorrow and i saw hair at 9 a.m i was like firstly excuse me what why is i pick at 9 a.m that like i'm not a morning girl so i was literally looking i was like who on god's green earth decided to put this appointment at 9 a.m so i was like this can't be right like so i messaged my hair just like hey like do i definitely have a hair appointment tomorrow like it's in my calendar but like i don't need one like literally look there's no route yet i did have a hair appointment we've just booked it very early and i completely forgot we'd booked it early so we're getting our roots done despite there being literally no roots this is the only way that i'm high maintenance i will say that like i don't get anything else done i don't get my nails done don't get anything done so it's just my hair that has a little bit more upkeep so that's how i justify it to myself but if you want to see my hair before it looks actually disgusting it's kind of greasy right now oh she's really giving volume but yeah that's my hair before <laughs> there's literally no root to even show you literally no root i might take the tint the whole way through though i feel like it's looking a little bit more yellowy than like whitey because i want it to be like bright white hair questionable decision but that's how i like it but let's go and get our hair done because she definitely needs doing doesn't she yeah 100 <laughs> percent I always forget how much this stuff burns my scalp. <sighs> Having blonde hair is honestly nothing but pain. The burning of my scalp is actually not okay. But it's fine because we're gonna have white hair, which makes me very, very happy. <laughs> and my hair is done. Oh, she's so blonde. I literally am obsessed. I know I said they didn't need doing, but now I've had it done, I'm like, okay, she did need doing because, oh, whenever I get my hair done, I just feel like me again. I need to stop putting fake tanning drops on before my hair appointments because they always come off with like where the tint sits. There is something in my brain that just gets so obsessed with being like really, really bright, light blonde. Like, just look how gorgeous. I'm actually obsessed with being like bleach blonde without having to put bleach in it. Obsessed. <laughs> Happy, happy Thursday. I'm actually really not sure why I'm wearing makeup right now. I put it on this morning thinking I'm gonna have a really, really productive morning. I'm gonna film so much stuff. I film one thing and then somehow it's already time to go to the gym. So we had a nice little rest day yesterday. Obviously it was Valentine's day. Not that we celebrate at all. My boyfriend just came around and we just got a takeaway. We were gonna make a carbonara, like a vegetarian carbonara because he made one for me maybe like six months ago and it was so freaking good that i was like i really really want that but then it got to the point that we were like do either of us want to cook it's been a very long day of work so we just ordered a takeaway because valentine's day and all of that i don't know what's wrong with me when it comes to like eating chinese food obviously like the westernized version isn't the same as normal chinese food but i get so full and feel so sick so quickly so i actually barely ate anything of it so that is gonna be my dinner for today because we've got so many leftovers from it but we're going to train push which is literally my favorite session of the entire week. So I'm so freaking excited. Honestly, if push isn't your favorite session, then you're obviously doing your push session wrong because it's literally the best thing ever. The best thing since sliced bread. I bloody love it. And we've got dumbbell shoulder press and bench press. I'm so excited. Something in my body just oh, it thrives training push, but let's go to the gym. I've got a nice little croissant to eat on route, which I'm really excited to have. I also don't think we've touched upon this. Is that really gross? I got Invisalign this week. I have literally not spoken to you about that at all. It came on Tuesday. So if, if my voice is sounding a little bit strained, then that is why. I feel a little bit lispy and like I can't really get my words out properly. But hopefully 
we just kind of get used to it and my voice goes back to normal. But I have actually said this to people and everybody is saying my voice sounds literally the same, but we're going to have to get used to this because I think I'm literally going to have to have Invisalign in for the next like 16 weeks. But we'll do a little story time about Invisalign in another video because I feel like that's not really the purpose of this video. We'll do a little weekly vlog catch up kind of thing. Um, but yeah. We're on our journey to have some nice straight teeth. Not even mainly for cosmetic reasons. It's literally because my teeth are getting so wonky that plaque are getting stuck into them. TMI, kind of gross, but I had to get it sorted. So, so you can now get used to this new voice. It's very annoying because I sound like I'm literally swallowing my own tongue half the time, but we've got to stick with it for the next like six months, which is, I'm already bored of it. But anyway, let's go to the gym because I'm gonna end up missing my train if I keep on talking to this camera. See you there. Honestly, the best thing ever. once on my own this week but we're on the way to the gym it's actually really late it's it's literally 4 p.m and we're meant to be in there by like two so we're running a little bit late um we're gonna do a very just quick full body session like nothing like too strenuous just because it's been a long week okay it's been a long week and we're training again on sunday so today is just more like a chill session see each other have a little catch up um and then just have a little bit of time in the gym but yeah we're gonna take you along with you with us anyway as i said it's not gonna be too much of a strenuous session just get those muscles hit and then move on nothing too complicated but yeah very excited guys we've got far too excited we found a little part of the gym well, i actually knew they existed we just haven't filmed here before like it's a huge spin class but the lighting oh my god what happened what did that just come on red lighting just came on but look how cool it is in here to like film like we're just taking those photos in front of here as you can see with a little setup <laughs> <laughs> so if you see a new profile photo you know what's happening but this gym session has quite literally turned into what is quite literally a content session guys we're going to unashamedly so much <laughs> Which is like, you know it's what? It's actually more productive than a workout, I think. Yeah. It is. It's this is what happens when this can be part of your job. Like, ourselves. I feel like it looks very, like, oh my god, like they get to go to the gym so much. Yeah. And, like, to film. To film yeah. a lot, yeah. That's the thing. Part of the job is coming to the gym to film a lot. So that's what we ended up doing. Very exciting. Yeah. But we may do a little bit of something, something, but some maybe, yeah, maybe some shoulders. I can always do more shoulders. There's no such thing as too many shoulders. <laughs> Never too much shoulders. <laughs> but no, that is literally the reality. So we're going to change outfit and film something else. So when you see on Instagram, all these different photos, all these different outfits, <laughs> a lot of the time it is one day's work just because, especially if you have, like, I know I have a busy week next week. I'm like, I need to have stuff to post. So this is the reality of this being part of your job. But yeah, I'm sure you wouldn't walk into your spin class when you're going to a, for a nice little spin session and think, oh my God, that background looks insane. That is how my That's brain works. <laughs> Literally, I was like, the background in here, that is where I can take my new profile photo because I really want a new profile photo because it's too summery at the moment. But that's the little reality of what's happened to today's session. We're not training. It's to be 
That's just that's just how it be sometimes. <laughs> and there we have it. That is our week's worth of workouts completed. I actually really enjoyed that week of workouts. I really felt like I pushed myself to another level. And I honestly feel like I'm in such a good headspace with the gym at the moment. Like I'm absolutely loving going. In the future, my plan is to add some runs into the workout plan. It is currently Saturday as I'm recording this. Not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna go to the gym tomorrow as well. But that's more to start next week's week of workouts a little bit early because I know next week I'm super, super busy. So I'm not gonna be recording that purely because I want to get this up on Sunday. And if I include the Sunday workout, that's not gonna happen. But yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be a push session, which you already would have seen in this video. So it would have been kind of boring for me to include it. So everything happens for a reason. But also, if you did not know, I'm actually an online coach. So all of the workouts you saw in this video were created by yours truly. Obviously, I feel like it goes without saying, but every single person is a completely different part of their fitness journey. So if you just watched that video and you're thinking like, oh my God, that seems like a lot. Please remember, I've been on my fitness journey for what, like seven years now. So that is why my workout may look a little bit harder than yours, or I'm probably training for something different. So everyone is completely different. So if you are looking for a plan that really suits your needs, then as I said, I am a coach. So if you ever want any help with your fitness programming or anything like that then you can use the link in my bio to apply for me to coach you i do currently have some spaces as i'm filming this right now when this goes up whether i have spaces or not that is going to be another question but other than that i hope you've really enjoyed this week's week of workout videos i honestly enjoyed it so 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 much and it's really made me want to do loads more fitness content over on youtube because why was that so much more fun to film than it is to film a real Sorry, Instagram, I said what I said. I just find it so much more enjoyable filming longer videos. So hopefully you're enjoying watching the long videos as well. But thank you so, so much for watching. Honestly, it means the absolute world to me. And if you haven't already, make sure you go down below and hit the subscribe button to make sure you're keeping up with my content week in, week out. And if you did enjoy the video, please give it a big old thumbs up. It helps out my videos more than you will ever know. And I will be eternally grateful. But thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you next Sunday for another video. I love you so much. And I'll see you next week. Mwah! <laughs>